prête à vous rencontrer à, dans deux, trois, quatre personnes à la fois. Si vous voulez les rencontrer, ça nous ferait plaisir de faire une rencontre. De cette Donc, on, rencontre on va tirer votre invitation et on va vous en reparler. Ça va nous faire plaisir. Vous avez ma carte. Euh, oui, tout à fait. Juste à nous appeler. Jean-Marc Uh, we, in fact, think there's plenty of money to go around. We have, in fact, uh, based on the IRIS uh, analysis, there's $10 billion dollars that we can find through various tax measures in terms of, um, um, uh, in terms of uh, capital gains, capital gains like in terms of uh, 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 more echelons, in terms of income tax. Uh, in fact, we don't even think the problem is austerity. We think that the government is not doing their job in terms of letting public education, public health care, go to ruins. They've cut $109 million in, in CIGEPs alone, right? So what, what are we doing in CIGEPs? We're turning into little profit centers so that we're making money and we're letting go of education and thinking about more money. We're seeing privatization of the education system, of the health care system throughout Quebec. That's been going on for 25 years, all under the discourse of austerity. When they're, the rich are getting richer and they're not being taxed and the poor are losing their services and they're going more and more and going to food banks. We do not accept this. This is more than a message from teachers. This is a message from citizens that please listen, right? These are people who, are, who come from finance, that work in government. Do they know what it's like to have to send your kids to public education who depend on that? We have to defend. We hope that Mr. Kelly is also on the same as our representative also share the same values and that he plays his role as MNA to represent the values of the people and not to be bought in with this corporatist message of austerity. Thank you very much. Thank you. Go Roy, yeah. Bravo. Est-ce que je peux poser, parce que j'ai l'éducation, je pense. Et Baudet, yes. Il parle souvent, votre parti parle souvent de « on est une famille ». Mm -hmm. hein? Ça, mm -hmm. c'est l'idée. Puis la grosse raison pour toutes les coupures qu'on uh, the, the reason why we have so many cutbacks is because we're in debt. Mm -hmm. Right? And that we have a deficit. Right? Okay. okay. Who among us in this room is not in debt? Mm -hmm. My family is in debt. Mm -hmm. But wait a minute. Your party talks about us being, you know, you, you have to run the province. You always make reference to the family. Huh? Mm -hmm. and, and, and we're allowed as families to be a little, little bit in debt, a little bit a lot, right? Absolutely. Yeah, but no one's crying crises. I mean, the banks still give us loans and everything works, right? But for the government, no, we can't be in debt. Somehow, you know, when we went, when there's a good reason to be in debt, there's a good reason to be in debt. Buy a house, go to war, right? The country went Absolutely. into debt like crazy, the, okay? And the family, buy a house. Why isn't in our government education, health, social value, social rights? Why aren't they a good reason to be in debt? No, that's a, it. Doesn't make there's no there's an illogic in your party's discourse. And I strongly encourage you know two or three of you to give me a call to yeah, come in, right. please. <laughs> that message to Mr. Kelly. I mean, no, you know what? Together. I was speaking to the media. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. They didn't to have, come. I that's the. <laughs> <laughs> no, we will. We will speak to. We'll come again for sure. Yeah. We'll come again. Yeah. Okay. Well.